Hi, my name is Talia Nasi, and I'm a Senior Developer Advocate here at AWS Serverless. In this video, we're going to create a serverless application that uses both DynamoDB and Lambda. We will start from the Serverless Land Patterns page. The Serverless Patterns collection is both an educational resource to help developers understand how to join different services, as well as an aid for developers that are getting started with building serverless applications. These patterns are created with either SAM or CDK. For this example, we will invoke a Lambda function from changes to a DynamoDB table. This SAM template deploys a Lambda function, a DynamoDB table, and the minimum IAM resources required to run the application. When items are written or updated in the DynamoDB table, the changes are sent to a stream. This pattern configures a Lambda function to pull this stream. The function is invoked with a payload containing the contents of the table item that changed. The only prerequisite here is to make sure that you have the AWS SAM CLI installed. To build our application, we're going to head to serverlessland.com slash patterns and use one of the predefined SAM templates. On the left-hand side, we're going to filter patterns by DynamoDB and then choose DynamoDB to Lambda. Then click on the download text to copy the commands to the clipboard. Next, in your terminal, Clone the repo and change directory into the DynamoDB to Lambda folder. Then run SAM deploy dash dash guided. This deploys your application. Just note that keeping the responses blank here chooses the default options that are displayed in the brackets. This takes a few minutes here, but you can see that our resources are being deployed. This includes the Lambda function, the DynamoDB table, and all of the necessary permissions for this application. Once it's done, you get the success message that your stack has been created. Now, let's head to the DynamoDB console to test this. From the DynamoDB console, choose Tables, and then select the newly created DynamoDB table. Then, choose the Items tab and choose Create Item. Add an item, name it whatever you want, and choose Save. Now that we've added an item to the DynamoDB table, let's head to the Lambda console. From the Lambda console, choose your Lambda function, and we're going to scroll all the way down to the Monitor tab and choose View Logs in CloudWatch. Now you see the new image inserted into the DynamoDB table. So anytime a new item is added to our DynamoDB table, this Lambda function is invoked and logs the event in Amazon CloudWatch Logs. In this video, you learned how to create a serverless application with Amazon DynamoDB and AWS Lambda. You use the serverless patterns collection to invoke a Lambda function whenever a new item is added to a DynamoDB table. To learn more about Lambda and DynamoDB, head to serverlessland.com where you'll find more content from me and my team. I'm Talia Nasi. Thanks for tuning in.